Good morning, everybody. Day number 16. Doesn't take much to lose track of time out here. And you have to double check yourself to figure out what day of the week it is. Standing in the shower this morning, of course, I'm saying what day it is every day you think I would remember. But I had to actually look at my calendar and count them up. Day 16. Of course, we had a couple zeros in there. So, pink sky in the morning, sailor take warning. We had just a touch of a sunrise this morning. Just enough to let us know that the sky was pink. And we all know what that means. Especially my friends up in Maine. So the rain is on its way. And the forecast for the next three days is like 70% chance of rain each day. Um, thank goodness it may be a little warmer. Um, but it is what it is, you know. This is the AT, and we're getting closer and closer to springtime. And this is what I signed up for. So, plan for the morning is we have about six miles, mostly downhill. Here we go again. Gotta check out those views. Even when it looks like there could possibly be rain out there already. Absolutely amazing, everyone. Uh, approximately six miles downhill into the knock. The NOC, the Nantahala Outdoor Center. Uh, plan on grabbing some lunch there and devising our plan for the next couple of days. We may consider uh, making it a Nero at some point. I've um, been hiking with a couple really good guys. I trust them completely. Um, real positive attitudes. They all have great character. And uh, that's the kind of people I like to spend my time with. So... We'll devise a plan what we're going to do. May consider um, a Nero at some point as we draw closer to the Smoky Mountains. We could see them yesterday. It was pretty spectacular. So, Also, Dreiker needs to get his pad taken care of. And uh, just looking forward to enjoying that landmark. Maybe getting a big cheeseburger or something like that. So let's head, up on, head on up the trail. And see what the day brings us. Another great day on the Appalachian Trail. And actually, now that I'm down south, I need to get in a better habit of saying Appalachian. Mother Nature's been cooperating so far. Still giving us some views. But I'll tell you what, this descent will definitely get your heart pumping. All right, Mother Nature's starting to do her thing and deliver on her promises. You know, before we came down here, 
The weatherman was never accurate. If it said it was gonna rain, he'd be like, yeah, what's he know? Get up the next morning, the sun's shining. Yeah, it's gonna snow. They cancel schools. We get a barely a flurry. But I don't know who's doing the weather reports for AT weather. But I'm telling you what, it's pretty freaking accurate. So if it says it's gonna rain, you're gonna get wet. That's just the way it is. So uh, if you guys want some a good weather forecast to follow, get on atweather.com or org. Um, it's been pretty dead on so far. Um, kind of rewinding a little bit back the trail where we're coming down this really tough, uh, slippery, icy descents. Um, Random made a really good point the other day. Um, each one of us have already had a fall, if not multiple falls, and that just goes with it. I mean, it's gonna happen. But like today, as it's getting wet, these roots and everything here that you can see, of course we had snow, ice, mud, all the elements. I mean, this is the AT, you know, in short. That, that's, that's the way it is out here. But Random made a really good point. We're all one step from going home. That's how quickly your journey can end. We're the fortunate ones to be out here. And it's kind of sad because as you come along here, it seems like each day you get into camp, you hear about somebody else going home. Now I've been trying so hard to catch up on my comments, but there's an old wise tale that Verizon is good service out here. You may be able to get a text message out, but I've had very little time to access social media. So I apologize for not responding to all of your comments. And I genuinely appreciate everyone. So please, if I don't get to you right now, um, please don't think that I'm not thinking about you. Last night, I read comments for about two hours, tried to get caught up, and I just couldn't. And I've said it many times, your comments are the wind, wind of my sails, and I, I sincerely mean that. Um, they really motivate me, so thank you so much. And I will respond as quickly as I can. Um, but also, one of the comments last evening, someone had mentioned that there were two other vloggers that they were following, and they're now off trail. And to my class of 2020 vloggers that are out there, some of you I've been, I've been following very closely, and I really hope to get caught up with you guys, but it really is a juggling act out here, and you'll find that out soon enough when you get out here if you haven't found it out already. But I'm not sure who it was that came off trail. I hope that they're okay and they're not injured. But I want you guys to know that I'm, I'm thinking about you as well. So, finally making what seems to be a descent. <laughs> We're going uphill there for quite some time. Um, but we'll check in on down the trail here, everybody. And again, thanks everybody for watching my videos, checking in on me and walking with me every day. Um, it really has made a difference in my morale and it's just so uplifting to my spirit to have you with me out here. I genuinely appreciate it. Been uh, seeing a lot of blowdowns coming down through this section. And when I say that, I want you to understand clearly that I am not complaining. This is the type of work that needs to be done on this trail out here. And if you've ever considered volunteering for a trail club, please do so. As understand the, the logistics of loading up a pack full of tools and chainsaws and safety gear and hiking up the side of a mountain or 10 miles in to a trail just to cut something like this down and the manpower and the woman power required to cut this up and clear this trail. They are true trail angels, everybody much more beyond you know we, we love everyone we see at the roadsides serving up trail magic and that really fuels you know your day and fuels your soul but this right here ladies and gentlemen this is where it really matters uh with becoming a volunteer so not complaining about these blowdowns i'll crawl around them all day and i'll clear what i can myself with my own two hands but uh i know they'll get to this stuff as soon as they can hats off again to our trail maintainers
I hear a hamburger call. We're getting closer. Thinking of my sweetheart right now with those sliced jalapeno peppers on there. Look like a bunch of wet ducks going across here. Here at the knock to make you feel right at home here on the AT. Or getting to your rooms. Yeah. Require, of course, another uphill. All settled in for the evening, everyone, here at the NOC. Um, we only got about six miles in today. We hiked to around lunchtime. A pretty slippery slope coming down out of Wester Bald Shelter. Um, Definitely was looking forward to getting in here to the NOC. It's kind of like one of those trail milestones that you get to. Uh, but all of our focus now is entering the Smoky Mountains. Uh, there's an outfitter here. There's a restaurant, some different facilities. So we grabbed some great food. I went into the outfitter and I was able to log on and print out my permit for the Smoky Mountains. And now we're going to focus on Fontana Dam. So we're going to get plenty of rest here today. When we leave in the morning, we're going to have a 3,000 foot climb. And then we're just going to try to keep rolling. We're, our hopes are to set up to get into uh, uh, Fontana Village when I believe it's Thursday and hopefully enter the Smokies on Friday. We're keeping a real close eye on the weather. The weather uh, is supposed to clear up a little bit, but when we start the Smokies right now, we're definitely a few days out as far as the weather forecast. Um, it's supposed to be dropping into possibly even single digits the first couple days in there. So that's where our mind's at right now. Thinking about the Smokies, being able to get in, um, planning that uh, food carrier. We're going to try to go through all at once and not go into Gatlinburg. But the weather has everything to do with it at this point. So that's that's kind of where our mindset is right now. So calling it a day here. And I want to thank everyone for coming along again, trying to catch up on your comments. I know I'm saying that a lot. Uh, so much appreciated, everyone. Thank you so much. You guys are so kind. Thoughts, prayers, um, the encouragement. I just, I just really appreciate it. Thank you so much, everybody. So well, we're going to hit the trail again tomorrow. There's more rain coming in, and we're just going to make the best of it. So this is the AT. Keep pushing north. Have a great day, everybody. I will see you tomorrow.